so we're taking a new look at the uh, charging setup for me. I built this charge case over the last maybe six months, uh, working off and on, just kind of at my leisure. Um, the reason I took on this project while I have so many others going on is uh, I was previously using uh, 308 Duo in this Otter Box charge case. You can see I had the deck here, the power inlet, the power supply was in the bottom. Got really hot in the summer, um, no room for storage as far as charge leads go. Um, oftentimes forget charge leads, forget the power adapter. Um, and in the summer, I'd have to basically take it out of the case at the field to keep the uh, charger from overheating. Um, so I moved on to this. This case actually served me pretty well for like almost eight years, 10 years in the current configuration. Um, I had a charger like this one in here. Power ran through the deck. Had a um, 12 volt mooch or leech um, unit in case you wanted to connect another power supply. Fans under the bottom. Uh, worked great for like eight years. Uh, eventually the eye charger died from too much heat being exhausted under it. Uh, purchased this in the meantime because this case was not finished. And I really had to take a pause on all my other projects to um, finish this one so I could have some charge solutions while at the field. Um, so we'll get into the specs. So what I have are two iCharger 308 Duos, um, four channels, I have storage bin, and uh, I put a, another 206 in the lid. And uh, this is really cool. I have a radio, Bluetooth, and FPV uh, viewing through this uh, unit here and my FPV receiver is hidden back here. So, um, and power supply is in the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on for you guys. So uh, right now I'm running on 12 volts. I'm uh, gonna take it to the field run it through some tests, make sure I don't overheat. Um, like I said, I got some storage in here. How's all my charge leads, battery monitor, magnetic um, lid there. The deck is made out of um, ABS. Um, I'm sorry, it's not ABS. It is made out of acrylic, black acrylic. Um, Cut the deck on my CNC machine, or my CNC router. Um, the top is a piece of carbon fiber. Uh, I got two speakers from Amazon, just small speakers. And all these grills you see here are actually uh, fans. So um, when it comes to charging on the lower deck, just, if you don't use XT30s, you can just grab your charge lead and there's plenty of room on the deck to sit batteries and whatever else, hang them off the side. Um, I also have balance lead extensions. So uh, I think it's gonna work pretty well at the field. It's got some serious charging power. Um, that's pretty much it for, for the bottom deck. Um, it's, it is as you see it. As for the top, uh, I actually, on this project, built the top before I built the bottom because I assumed that the thickness of the lid would give me more issues than the bottom. They actually worked out to be about the same. So what I've got is uh, two fans here. We'll turn those on. Pumping air um, straight up through blowing across the amplifier for the uh, 
radio, the power supply for the for the radio. Uh, we'll go ahead and turn that on. And it should boot up here in just a second. All right, and then um, of course we have the eye charger, same thing here, same progressive RC balance board that I modified to fit in the lid. If you don't use XT30, then there you go. Um, like I said, I've got Bluetooth, I've got radio. I'm not gonna get much reception down here in the basement. Radio could be better. Uh, probably won't use it very much until I modify it. Uh, there's some some things I need to finish on the case. Uh, some things I want to change. Probably going to keep it in its overall condition as it is. Um, I guess let me go ahead and get my GoPro out. And I'll show you guys how the FPV works. And then uh, we'll go from there. Alright, so I've got the... Uh, GoPro here, powered on. GoPro transmitter on the back. Older tech, but still works good. So I'm going to come down here. I'm going to hit um, FPV. You'll see the FPV receiver come on, and then I'm going to hit my camera button. And uh, this here is the FPV antenna. And as you can see, it uh, works okay. Uh, probably work better if I had a different antenna on there, but looks like it's going to work pretty good. Um, also, you can change the channel and the frequency here. You can see I've got the channel and frequency uh, machined into the top. Same with my username. My online alias uh, all the buttons here at the bottom same thing I'll probably come back with some white paint fill in all the lettering so it's easier to read but um, yeah I'm gonna say I'm gonna run this for the next few seasons I'll have to get um, I'll have to weigh it put some weight on the screen let you guys know how much it weighs um, and you can also watch movies on this little screen here as long as you put them on an SD card. But that's pretty much it. That's the overview. Um, uh, I should have pretty much maximum charging power out of every charger when I get done with it. Once I install the second power supply or another um, power supply that can supply power to everything that I've got in here. A lot of charging power. I probably won't ever max it out. So that's what I'm gonna run it on 12 volts for the foreseeable future. But um, yeah, uh, hope you guys like it. It's pretty much overkill. I'm gonna run it for a little while. If you catch me at events, ask to see it. I'm sure I'll have it with me. Um, and if you guys have any questions, let me know.